Ryan, good morning to both of you guys. Yeah, the chief met with the media yesterday to discuss several of the shootings that took place over the weekend. He says there are six active investigations, with one of them being Austin's second homicide of 2020. Chief Manley says that Austin is still the fifth safest major city when it comes to violent crimes, but he is seeing some changes. That includes an increase in crime as well as an increase in the use of firearms. During a 24-hour period, six shootings took place, one of them being deadly. Right now, police do not believe any of the cases are related. Some arrests have been made, but there are still suspects at large. Chief Manley says the increase in crime is coming at a very difficult time for the department. They currently have staffing issues with more than 180 spots that need to be filled, and we're less than two months away from one of the city's biggest festivals, South by Southwest. We were already making plans based on what we saw last year with the increase in violence that we had not seen in years before, marked by a few shootings that took place as well. The events of this past weekend will feed into that planning as well as we work to put together a plan to keep everyone safe as they come to Austin and enjoy what is one of the crown jewels of our city, and that is our music festivals. Chief Manley tells us that one person has been arrested in connection to the deadly shooting that happened in East Austin, but they're still looking for two Hispanic men who dropped off a man at the emergency room over at Dell Children's Hospital. That person was uh, injured with a gunshot wound, and Chief Manley goes on to say that these two men who dropped off that victim while well, they just left without giving any information about what happened. Back to you. Hey, good morning to both of you guys. Well, Chief Manley met with the media to give us an update on all of those shootings that happened over the weekend. We know that there were six shootings just in a matter of 24 hours. Uh, Chief Manley goes on to say that these are all open investigations, and one of the deadly shootings is now Austin's second homicide of 2020. Chief Manley tells us that even though Austin is the fifth safest major city when it comes to violent crimes, well, that is changing. That includes an increase in crime as well as an increase to the use of firearms. During a 24-hour period, as I mentioned, six shootings took place, one of them them being deadly. Right now, police do not believe any of the cases are related. Some arrests have been made, but there are still suspects at large. Chief Manley says the increase in crime is coming at a very difficult time for the department. They currently have staffing issues with more than 180 spots that need to be filled, and we are less than two months away from one of the city's biggest festivals, South by Southwest. Hey, good morning, Amanda. Well, we heard from the chief himself, and he spoke to us to give us an update on all of the shootings that took place over the weekend. He says that there are six active open investigations, one of them being Austin's second homicide of 2020. The chief says that Austin is still the fifth safest major city when it comes to violent crimes, but he is seeing some changes. That includes an increase in crime, as well as an increase in the use of firearms. During a 24-hour period, six shootings took place, one of them being dead. Deadly. Chief Manley says the increase in crime is coming at a difficult time for the department. They currently have staffing issues with more than 180 spots that need to be filled. And we're less than two months away from one of the city's biggest festivals, South by Southwest. We were already making plans based on what we saw last year with the increase in violence that we had not seen in years before, marked by a few shootings that took place as well. The events of this past weekend will feed into that planning as well as we work to put together a plan to keep everyone safe as they come to Austin and enjoy what is one of the crown jewels of our city, and that is our music festivals. Chief Manley also tells us that he does not believe any of the cases are related. Some people have been arrested in connection to these shootings, but there are still a few suspects at large. So the chief is asking anyone if you have information about what happened over the weekend to please contact Austin police. Back to the studio. Yeah, Chief Manley met with the media to discuss several of those shootings that happened over the weekend. He says there are six open investigations, with one of them being Austin's second homicide of 2020. The chief goes on to say that Austin is still the fifth safest major city when it comes to violent crimes, but he is seeing some changes. That includes an increase in crime, as well as an increase in the use of firearms. During a 24-hour period, six shootings took place, one of them being deadly. Right now, police do not believe any of the cases are 
are related. Some arrests have been made, but there are still suspects at large. Chief Manley says the increase in crime is coming at a very difficult time for the department. They currently have staffing issues with more than 180 spots that need to be filled, and we're less than two months away from one of the largest festivals south by southwest. We were already making plans based on what we saw last year with the increase in violence that we had not seen in years before, marked by a few shootings that took place as well. The events of this past weekend will feed into that planning as well as we work to put together a plan to keep everyone safe as they come to Austin and enjoy what is one of the crown jewels of our city, and that is our music festivals. One person has been arrested in connection with that fatal shooting that took place in East Austin. Police are still trying to locate two men who dropped off a man at the emergency room with a gunshot victim. These two men just left the scene without leaving any information or telling anyone what had happened. Back to the studio.